All right, YouTube world, this is Mac Daddy 1911A1 again with the camouflage stick. Number one, uh, I will tell you, I do not recommend it right off the bat because it's limited. I got this at Wally World. Um, used to have a compact. You can flip it open, had a little mirror, had six different colors. Okay, and that was a lot better. But uh, And I think the only way you're going to use this, I got to thinking about it, I talked with Kim about it because uh, she's a girl, she knows about makeup, you know what I'm saying? And I think I'll use my fingers to apply it. So what we're going to start with is we're going to try to, like I said in the first part, we're going to try to dull down the shiny parts of the, the skin, okay? And we're going to do some white, or white, we're going to do some black and brown to start with. Uh, let's see if I can get it to come off on my finger enough to actually do, do some good. All right. Look at that boy! I look like I look like a Native American war a warrior here shortly. I guarantee you, or maybe not guarantee you, but we'll see what happens anyway. I haven't done this in years. I mean, absolute years. Now, when I was a teenage teenager, me and Uncle Fester and our uh, buddy Sergeant Slaughter, his name's Terry, but we I call him Sergeant Slaughter. We used to do this kind of stuff, I mean, all all the time. We can't get all camouflaged up and get out in the woods and just have ourselves a good old time. And some people are going to say, oh, you're using too much brown already. Well, where I'm from, there's pine trees out the yin-yang. I mean, literally, out the yin-yang. And there's lots and lots and lots of shades of brown, dark brown, light brown, you name it. Just everywhere. Just everywhere. All right. Can you see me yet? Uh, can you see me still? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm just having fun with you, ladies and gents. Y'all don't y'all have a, don't have a conniption fit, okay? Yes fairly easy to get it off of there like I said uh, it's not as easy to use as uh, the compact they used to have and um, I don't think I like it yet I mean so far it's a little bit dirtier I just don't think it's gonna be quite as easy to use And Camo has done walked out. She's gonna probably make start making fun of me about putting makeup on <clears throat> and not being, you know, exactly a really real man because of my camouflage. Well, she know she don't know this is war paint. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Camo, it's well, war paint. Planes coming. Well, that's just the FBI looking for uh, me, but they can't find me because I'm hiding in plain sight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh, and ladies and gents, if you are doing this type of stuff, get the back of your neck and your ears, okay? It's skin too, it glows. <laughs> That's all there is to it, it's gonna glow. You need to do something about it. All right, let's get a little bit of green on here. I haven't done any green yet. I wish I had a little bit of, uh... I wish I had a little bit of gray, even yellow. I mean, uh, it is so dry here, all our leaves are turning yellow and falling off the dead gum trees. It hasn't rained in weeks and weeks and weeks, and we're out here having a water chem chemo's uh, flowers. She loves her flowers. And, uh... You know, I've been helping her water them because I hate to see her invest all that money, time, and effort and then fr freaking croak and die, you know? Now, I'm doing this in the viewfinder of the camera, so uh, I'm probably going to miss some spots. It'd be best to have a mirror. Like I said, my other compact and kind of got... No, baby, that's fine. Um... 
And yeah, I know you guys, somebody's gonna make fun of me for saying the word compact and guy in the same sentence. Well, it is a compact. It has a little mirror, just like uh, maybe Kimo's mirror that she's got on her compact. You know, oh, and get the eyelids too, ladies and gents. Okay, get the eyelids real good. There's nothing you can do about the whites of your eyes, but you can squint. Okay, I have been hidden in the woods. I've had people searching for me, Sergeant Slaughter, Uncle Fester, different folks over the years who have been hunting me in, you know, war games, whatever, and they couldn't see me because uh, I was well camouflaged, number one. Number two, because I had my eyes squinting to the point that they couldn't see my eyelids in my eyes, you know, because I had my eyelids camouflaged, had my eyes squinted really good. They couldn't tell, you know, what I was because I was behind the bushes. That's something else. When you're hunting someone, look through the bush, not at the damn bush. All right, look inside the bush. You can see through them if you practice at it hard enough. You can see through them. You can see through it. And this stuff, you gotta do some scrubbing. You're gonna get soap in your eyes. I mean, that's uh, because of the way you have to put it on and use it. You're gonna end up with a little soap in your eyes and all that kind of stuff. So what? Get over it. It'll be all right. I wonder what I've been doing with that finger. <laughs> I wonder if I was checking to see if I was a quart low or not. I think it would be a good idea to do like one area of one eye in a different color than another. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Glad you said that. It's been a lot of years. I haven't practiced this in a long time. Maybe I should have read, read the great article in the book Combat on this very subject before I came out here and did it. But uh, I used to be quite expert at this. see yeah okay tell you what I don't want to make it too dang I'm dark yeah I don't want to make it too dark though cuz the idea is not to have a the dark area is light and light area is dark I'm gonna have them. Uh, that is the idea. What am I saying? I'm getting my words backwards. Right. You want to lighten them up, and the uh, naturally light areas you want to darken them up. And I just screwed that up. I had a little black on my finger, but it won't be too bad. I don't think. All right. I'll make her do this. She's pretty good at makeup. <laughs> Better shut up before she makes me wear this stuff out of the house somewhere. Tell them I done went nuts and <laughs> trying to go to a Halloween party before before it's time, before it's here. I got some black on there again. I can't really tell. Yeah. Hmm? Well, I got some black on it. Yeah. It's just hard to use your finger to get in there just to get one color out. And it keeps mixing with the black in the areas I'm wanting to lighten up, like under my throat, my neck here. I want to use just the long green. It's getting black on it. You can see looks like crap but what can you do you know work with what you got now I'll tell you 
doing the back of your neck and your ears, back of your ears is hard without someone being there to help you. And yes, do your lips too. They're red. They'll by God stick out like a sore thumb. And your whiskers, if you have any. I've had jobs in the past where I couldn't wear whiskers. On camera, it looks like I got a little Hitler mustache here. Yeah, it comes all the way down, but it's a lot lighter color and it's hard to tell it. Oh, look, a booger. Nope, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. I had popped a booger out. Kim would have smacked me good and hard. <laughs> That's nasty. No, it is not. It's my. Oh, it's, it's, wait, let's see. It's good. <laughs> I don't see that or not. Ah. Use your green from there. She's butchering my okay. camouflage. And use the black and brown off that. See, she butchered it. <laughs> she's evil. <laughs> she's smart about something. I mean, he's, she's got some good senses sometimes. 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 <laughs> sometimes she gets me to do stuff I shouldn't be doing. <laughs> Oh, and if you play online poker on uh, your cell phone or whatever, she's probably beating you a couple of times at least because uh, she's crazy like that. Pretty actually pretty damn good at it. I think I beat her twice in what, 20, 50? 20, 50, 50, 60, 100 games, baby. Play me that many. Oh, that's just true. I get tired of getting my ass whooped all the time, what it is. It is all right, babe. Green ain't very dark, is it? Well, not really. It's a light green. It's what they call loam. It's not really. It's not really that good a good a camouflage stick. I've already gave my review on it. I think it sucks. No, it'd be alright, baby. Just for demonstration purposes, more than anything, I'm not actually going into combat today, so I don't see any reason to stress over it too bad. Just giving the uh, nice viewers a uh, an idea what you can do with camouflage paint. I have very oily skin. It's a lot easier for me to put camouflage paint on than it is a lot of other people. I just It just comes right off on me real easy. And it's usually a lot easier to wash off than it is for other people. So, if you use any of it at all, don't be discouraged. If you have any problems with it coming off, and I know you're going to think I'm nuts, get a little Vaseline and, and rub over it. And it helps. It'll it'll help dissolve it, take it right off of there. I really just can't really tell <laughs> really what it looks like on the camera here.
think my freaking nose is dark enough with that dang gum brown. It's just not that easy to use this stuff, ladies and gents. I mean, that's that's all there is to it. My diggity dog, I got me a real honest to God makeup mirror now. <laughs> Boy, it ain't going on very dark, is it? Not at all. You still on the camera? Yeah. This shit ain't even darkened it up a bit. Even though it's lighter color than the others. See, it's getting a lot of black on there right next to it yes sir my Remington uh, makeup review is definitely not going so hot as far as my uh, belief that this is a superior product now you got to remember this is not a real Remington they, they, it's a licensed product it's actually made for the Allen company using the Remington name it ain't a, it ain't as good of a product as Remington's rifles and so forth Jeez, it's just not a good idea. See that stuff and all it does is smudge and get black everywhere. Up my opinion. Ain't doing worth a flip. I look like a monster yet, babe? Mm -hmm. Oh, by golly, at least something coming out right then, ain't it? <laughs> Boy, if I had to go to war with this damn camouflage, I think I'd just quit and give up right off the damn bat. Yeah, yep, yeah, it's a Remington trademark. Well, not trademark, but they use the uh, Remington name to sell it. But it's made for the Allen Company, and it's made in freaking China. I'm probably going to have three or four different kinds of lead poisoning, radioactivity. Ain't no telling. <laughs>
Yeah, it's not the easiest thing in the world to use. Sorry I'm not talking that much, keeping y'all well entertained, but uh, trying to get this darn thing where it actually looks like I'm what the hell I'm doing. Of course, I never uh, went against a professional with just, you know, my techniques and all that I learned as a kid, so I can't really say that what I know would get me through a firefight, but uh, you never can tell. <laughs> you never can tell. Now, if your wife sees you putting this on and you're a guy and she doesn't know that you do this kind of stuff because you're a secretive kind of guy, you're in trouble. Because first thing in her mind, that sucker's in the s and <laughs> mm -hmm. The next thing that's going to happen, she's going to be out getting some whips and chains. Yippee! She'll be happy. She gets to inflict pain and suffering on you then. I just go ahead and tell her and you guys to him comes at me with a, some chains and whips. Somebody's gonna get the hell beat out of him, and it ain't gonna be me. But I ain't taking a butt whooping from no chain. <laughs> Been hitting the head with a binder or two and the load bar. I think that's enough for me. Okay, end of this video. It's already stretching to 22 minutes. I do not recommend this. Okay, I don't recommend it as a go-to-war kind of nothing, all right? but for what, for the demonstration, you can see it did a pretty decent job, I think. And um, the coverage sucks on this stuff. Uh, the military types, it's in a metal tube that you can push up and down. That's the best. The second best was the uh, Hunter's Camo Cam Compact. Uh, Wally World used to sell it. They, I haven't seen it uh, in a while. Maybe you can still find it at Army Navy stores. Good product. Uh, this stuff is not not recommended by Mac Day when 1911 uh, uh, with the Shade Tree Survivals. How about that? Um, in an emergency, maybe, but uh, really, I don't highly recommend it. So, um, hope you learned something. If nothing else, I've got a good job ahead of me cleaning this mess off. This is Mac Daddy 1911A1 with Shade Tree Survivals signing off. Y'all have a good one.